Good day, gentlemen. Good night, or whatever time it is where you are watching. You are listening to Moonster and their Labyrinth Zone present mix, which you can find in this playlist in the description. Hello, Queen Maddie. Hello, Vector Seda over on Twitch. I'm so happy that Queen Maddie is being the warm up act because uh, that, that joke made me laugh just before, and it's just what I needed to start the stream with a happy smile on my face. I hope you're all having a fantastic Thursday. I've had a very good one, and it's just about to get better, because tonight we're going to be playing some Flash games from my childhood. Let's come out with that now. And to do that, because Flash is no longer supported anymore by web browsers, I'm using this app here called Flashpoint. Uh, it is a huge, it's a huge archive of uh, downloadable Flash games, preserved and playable for you to enjoy, all for free. Uh, I've been testing some of them, and uh, some of them run well, some of them not so well. Uh, let's do this. <laughs> I wonder, has anybody grown up playing Flash games? These are all from like the mid-2000s. And these are the kind of games that I played uh, to, to keep me sane at school. Queen Matty uses the same. Good to know. Alright, so hmm, am I gonna headline with Yeah, I'm probably I probably am gonna headline with Ultimate Flash Sonic. I dunno though. Yeah, okay. Here's what I'm gonna do. Because I've got it set up, I was uh testing things out earlier. Also my nineties rap set behind me. Optional though. Uh, right, let me load up Ultimate Flash Sonic, and um, yeah, sort it out in OBS because this is the game that I've set for OBS's first window capture. All right, transition there, and uh, the second thing because these are Flash games, I can only control them with a keyboard. So let's put the keyboard on money and let's get to going. Yeah, the other reason I should headline with, um, oh god. Right, volume control, that's the other thing. Hmm. Fifteen? It looks like I'm gonna have to play Flash games at fifteen percent volume. Yeah, the other good reason. I say good oh, day, God. sir. Good day, gentlemen. How's it going, GMT? Over on YouTube. I hope you're having a wonderful Thursday. Queen Matty remembers this. Holy shit! Yeah, Ultimate Flash Sonic. There was once upon a time in my life where I knew the password for like 100% complete, off by heart. But uh, not anymore. Yeah, it all looks good in OBS. So let's let's get playing, shall we? This is the category over on Twitch right now, so this is the reason why we're headlining with Ultimate Flash Sonic. And I'll play as Sonic. <clears throat> What's up here? Pointless little bonus. I'm surprised by how well this runs. Even today. One thing about Ultimate Flash Sonic is... You can't, like, have a different jump height. Your jump height is the same no matter how hard you press the button. 
Victor Seda says nostalgic. Yeah, when did this come out? I remember playing this all the time when I was in like year 7, 8, 9. So I would have been like 13. Between the ages 13 and 16 when I was playing these games. Oh my god, our, our schools tried their very best to block Flash game websites. So what we do is we'd either go on the Spanish websites or other uh, Flash websites of different languages. And if they all got blocked, we'd end up using these proxy websites where you could just uh, go on that website, type in the name of the website, one of us, and then Abracadabra, it'll be un unblocked. <laughs> GMT says, I remember Flash animations more than games like Super Mario Brothers Z, and ironically has fight choreography on par with, I've, you know what, we uh, reacted to a bit of Super Mario Bros. Z over in the Alex Yard Zone not too long ago, and I have to say, I don't know how that one skipped me by. Like, one of my best friends was into Dragon Ball Z so, so hard. I don't know how that's getting by, and yeah, what we saw, I was very impressed, or surprised. But the flash animations I remember watching are the works of Roger van der Weide, and none of his stuff is preserved on this platform, actually. But that's probably because he's preserved it himself on YouTube. Queen Matty says, yeah, you can emulate flash games pretty easily. And the funny thing about flash games is, no matter how big you upscale them, some of these elements, like the HUD, is really sharp. Like, it's... I'd expect it to be blurry, but I guess it uses, like, inbuilt fonts or something. And therefore, those fonts can be any resolution. This is actually the first way I, I experienced any of Sonic Advance 2's assets, was through this game. I didn't get a Game Boy Advance until much later in my life. I think I'd already left school at this point. Doesn't this boss have a pinch mode? Where it goes all the way around. GMT says Super Mario 63 is a classic. That's on the list of like top flash games. And I haven't heard of it until today. Would you recommend it if we uh, need more games to fill out the two hour slot? Are there any flash games that you guys are fond of that you think I should check out? This is by far one of the most impressive flash games I've ever played. Not gonna lie. There's a reason why this one is like legendary. JMT says yes. Yes I would, it is amazing. In regards to Super Mario Brothers 63. No, just Super Mario 63. Yeah, this is this is the first time I heard this music. Oh god. Sonic Superstars problems. Ow. And these grind rails as well. <laughs> they, I know they're using a very basic colour, but where are the pixels? Even these slopes are very very unpixelated. Makes me wonder how Flash works. Oh, oh, okay. Going up. This may take a few attempts. Right, there we go. 
Queen Matty asks, this is from one of the DS games, right? The music? No, this is Sonic Advance 2. On the Game Boy Advance. Ideas going on here too. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> Can I do that again? It's like I jumped on the corner or something. I want to go up there. Sonic takes damage in this, does he not have any iPhones? flying character. Oh, another classic animation that GMT remembers is the Nazo Unleashed. Your favourite say mm, your favourite scene in that is Sonic and then he just says explodes. This is very similar to the actual Sonic Advance 2 boss, except the boss doesn't have that tail thing that you're supposed to bounce off. Oh, d oh, this is gonna get faster and it's gonna be awful. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> oh dear! Is the ring gonna come? Ring. Yank. Oh, how the hell are you supposed to avoid this? Ah. Ah. Okay. Oh my god. Does he take 10 hits in this? I mean, you can see where the background cuts off. Oh, I forgot that was one of the cheats. So I think this game has also like an unlockable shadow as well. And the game gives you like a new password every time you uh, complete a game with a different character. Oh, oh goody goody, you can skip the credits. Although I probably shouldn't have. So cheats. Sonic 2 run. I wonder what else it has to offer. Let's do it again. As Knuckles this time. Does Knuckles have his climb in this? I don't remember. No, he doesn't. But let's see what the game gives me for completing it as knuckles. And, oh god, I keep falling down here yeah, every time I, I load this up. Oh god. To be 
fair, it's a good shot. Thank you, collision. Sonic is still on the sign. How's it going, Mako? How are you doing after spending all afternoon figuring out how to speedrun a show of the glitch? And I got to watch a good portion of that. That's a big loop. Another one. Oh. Ow. Yeah, you barely have any iPhones. The end. Sonic Channel's here, how's it going? Mako had a lot of fun trying a serious speedrun for once. I've, I feel very glad to have awakened your inner speedrun. Mission statement, get more Sonic fans into Metroid. Although, uh, when it comes to Mako, I, I don't need to achieve that part of it. He's already into Metroid. Ow. It's weird that Knuckles can't glide, because I'm fairly sure both Tails and Cream can fly. I'm good too, thanks for asking Sonic Channel. Have you played any Flash games in your lifetime? Mako is more into 100% Metroid than speedrunning though. When it comes to the Prime games, that's my that's my viewpoint. But uh, thanks to Dread, I'm, I'm, I'm getting more and more into the speedrunning aspect of 2D Metroid. Ow! Come on, Knuckles, you can make it. Come on, Knuckles! Ah. Ah. There was an. This level has a lot of points where you can just skip a whole chunk if you just jump. Not this bit again. Oh! You can get up there from the bottom one. Jump! Ugh. I hope I didn't. I did. I went through the layer. again. Thank you. You see that little bit of bump in the collision that got me there as well? I wonder if that happens because everything has been upskilled. <gasps> Mako used to play this in between classes. I used to play this in classes. <laughs> and somehow for ICT, I somehow got an A+. Plus. Thank you, Collision. Whatever that was all about. Oh, I thought a bit where you have to jump this coming. I was wrong. 
Oh, but there was one. Oh, this is where I had that funny corner collision. Whoa! Wow, the slope physics in this are like really OP. Wow. Uh oh, I fell down. That happened last time too. Oh. And Sonic Channel has started with the random facts yet again. Who's got something important to say? GMT says, I used to play this after school in between episodes of Ninja Ball on TV. Isn't that Lego of Ninja Ball? I don't think I've... I don't think I know of a single Sonic fan who hasn't heard of Ultimate Flash Sonic. Mako says we used to play Halo 1 too in LAN and then the teacher participated for a while too while playing Halo at school. I used to bring my GameCube into school. It was very, very efficient because I had the handle. And I remember like playing Shadow the Hedgehog on one of those. Our school had these magic whiteboards. They were just big digital touch screens, basically. And uh, yeah, I remember plugging in my console and that and playing it during the break. Because I didn't go outside during the breaks, I stayed indoors in the anti bullying council room. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Ow! Uh oh, give me a ring again. Ring? So hard. There we go. Ah. Wow, you can run through the. Okay, you can't completely run through it, but you can get surprisingly close to it. There we go. That's it, GMT. You, you're on the money there. They were called smart boards. Because he also had them at school. New cheap behind. Uh, what does that mean? How's it going, Aria? Indeed, I am playing Ultimate Flash Sonic. You see, another Sonic fan that's heard of this one. So completing the game as every character unlocks something. But what is behind? Does anybody remember what this is? Behind? What the hell? Is it a cheat that activates a pixel on Tails' um, Sonic Advance... No, Sonic Advance 3 hadn't come out at this time. What am I talking about? Let's play again as Tails and see what happens. Audio says that you used to play this game. Did I just... Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> on your school computer during the computer. Same here. Whoa, Tails is behind. <gasps> so that's what behind means. Ah, it makes you go behind the foreground titles. That's kind of cool. What a weird option. Aria asks, do you know the cheat to unlock everything? I used to. There was once upon a time I could just load this up and uh, type in the cheat to unlock everything. And I didn't like look it up or anything, I earned it, you know. Wow, this is like a cool difficulty option. Taking notes. Never seen an option like this in any fun project before or since. Have we? Oh, Tails got caught in something there.
We don't need to remember South Park Sonic Channel. It's still relevant now. South Park is still a thing. In fact, they've got a new video game released soon. Have you any interest in Snow Day? Oh, Tails can fly in this, though. Whoa, this is a big loop. These levels have a surprising amount of depth to them, and while you just can't see a thing here. We're taking notes indeed. Yeah, I'm on. Every time I play this, I'm finding a new route. Mako heard that those South Park RPGs were pretty good, but he never tried them. Oh, I'm gonna jump over this bit this time. Yeah, I've never played Stick of Truth and whatever the other one's called. I've only heard of them because of the difficulty select screens. <laughs> oh yeah, looks like he... That looks so familiar. 59531313. Yep. God, you've just unlocked a memory there. Wow. GMT heard that the new South Park game was not as good as Fractured Butthole. They have such funny names, don't they? Wait, wh where's the joke in Stick of Truth? Can anybody explain that joke to me if it is indeed a joke? I used to think that this was straight up an official Sonic game. That is its... That is its quality. And then have you played any of the official Sonic Flash games? They all suck in comparison. I can't remember playing any official... Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you, Dark Souls. Ah, oh, I keep forgetting to jump there. And, and going on the grind rail. Let's go on the grind rail. Um, okay, again. Maybe there's like an invisible layer here or something. Yeah. Going up. Tails, go up. Oh! There's that. I've got zero lives left, I need to be so careful. Up! Tails' jumping sprite, yeah. Tails' jumping sprite starts upside down, I swear. He must be rotating a still PNG. Or GIF. Because usually, yeah, that's what's going on. Usually, Tails' tails are a separate entity. And they have their own behaviour that follows the actual jumping ball. It seems a little complicated. And it's something I've got to do when I've... When, if I want to add Tails to another Sonic 2 remake properly. So I really need to understand how it works. Somebody in the open search community has already cracked it though. Someone called Spectrus making a version of the open search engine that is more like the retro engine. And they were able to... I've seen some footage. They, they were able to add Tails' proper Tails tech. I don't know what to call it. <laughs> GMT explains that Stick of Truth was meant to be a tie-in to their Game of Thrones parody, parody. And it's literally just them finding a stick on the ground and making a LARP session about it. What's a LARP se session? 
never heard that expression before. What the hell? I was ruled in a ball and everything? That didn't make sense. Okay, let's do cream now then, shall we? No tails completion for me. Bugger. Does that ever happen to you? You take a drink or something, and somehow it ends up coming out. I've got some of it on my t-shirt now. Yaddy yaddy. GMT says LARPing is Dungeons and Dragons, but full on roleplay where you dress up and stuff. That sounds fun, and maybe it's a bit expensive. Aria says, I think this game might be my very first exposure to Sonic, as I was searching for Mario games on a flash site. Wow. I think the dev of this would be very happy with that. Can we use cream to like destroy enemies in this? Are there any other buttons? I don't think there are. Oh look, when you're rolled up, Jesus expression changes too. Ow. GMT doesn't have any points. Let me redeem that Yari Yari instead. Since I have my keyboard very handy right now. Yari 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 spawn explosions when you kill them. That piece of level design there has got me thinking, did that somehow inadvertently inspire the bit in Aqua Lake Zone, my Aqua Lake Zone, where you do a big loop around the lake and then run across the water and then you're indoors? If anybody knows what's what segment I'm on about. It's crazy when you like play things and then you see you see things that like you realise, oh that's where I got that from. It's very weird. Sonic Channel is reporting that they have 18 videos. I hope that they're all high quality. Last time, <laughs> oh god. It's about quality, not quantity. And then I look at my own video account on here on YouTube. And uh, it, I think it's like 432 now or something. That's, that's only because YouTube is counting all the live streams as well. I wish it wouldn't do that. I wish YouTube would like categorize and count the live streams and regular old videos separately. But what are you gonna do? Pardon me. Jump! That was the reason why I wanted to jump. Oh. Ah! How long have I been playing this year? Ultimate Flash Sonic. I'm trying to think, uh, how long are the other games that I've got planned? Maybe I should make Cream my last playthrough and then move on to something else. And 
what should my next something be? I do have another Sonic game on the menu, but I'll, I'll want to space them up. So I think what I might play next is something a little lower quality than this. Something called Soccer Slime, or Slime Soccer, depending on your territory. Now I wonder if anybody's heard of this one. There is a screenshot of it on the um, thumbnail. And uh, when I was testing it out earlier, it unfortunately runs the worst out of any of these Flash games I tested, and I swear it used to run quite well, but either my memory's wrong or um, Flashpoint has issues emulating this one. Ooh, I never went up here, did I? But to me it feels like a very early Rocket League. And it's no wonder I enjoyed it. Oh yeah, Audio says I could input the cheat code and un unlock the secret characters. Why don't I do just that? Then? And then I'll, and then that makes it a full hour of Ultimate Flash and Sonic. Because the next games I've got on the Flash menu are quite small by comparison. That was a cruel... Whoa. I'll have that. I was going to say that was a cruel trap. GMT asks, Why does this game understand Sonic more than a certain game with the first zone having a similar... Simmer, what? Similar musical light motif as Green Hills and Sonic 2 Game Gear. Are you talking about Bridge Island Zone? Because I, I don't know what your complaint there is. Bridge Island Zone has a lot of branching level design and, and I would say I have absolutely no issue with the level design in Bridge Island Zone. out of your head, except obtain the ball. Got it. Ah. Lovely. It'd be nice if I could uh, not damage this boss. That would be a cool flex. GMT was just talking about superstars as a whole, because Bridge Island is good. Big cheese. Why do I not remember any of these cheats? Alright, let's get, um, Odd or Yes cheat code in. Y you do just type it in, don't you? Oh, password, that's, there it is. Enter password. Alright, let's scroll up the chat. See you later, Sonic Channel. I'm looking for a post that's all numbers. There we go. Control C. Enter. So what what what's this go? I, I do remember the tails follow. Behind. What the hell is Moon? I don't remember what Moon is. Let's have Behind on again as well for added, added difficulty. Let's just turn them all on. So does this mean Shadow is now unlocked? Not just Shadow, but Amy too. Well, we gotta play a Shadow, don't we? No. Oh, and there's a level select too. I forgot about that. GMT says Big Cheese is what they used to call you back in high school. When you can choose the individual act too, that's crazy. 
Mako says, I had a lot of fun with Superstars, but no real interest in going back to it. Whoa, I'm guessing that's what Moon does. Alters the gravity. These are cool little cheats, man. These should be in more official Sonic games, cheats like this. Oh. But one of the other side effects is that you move incredibly slowly too. Let's just overcome that with this. Oh my god. Oh my god, you see? Look at... Look at how many bullets this thing is spitting out. <laughs> also, Tails doesn't walk, he just flies behind you. He must be using um, Cheese's code. That's my guess. I fall down here every time. When you're walking on the moon. Audio says that this will be Sonic Advance 4 in 2013. What a timeline. Whoa, the springs even send you. Whoa. Ah. Okay, I'll go this way instead. I don't have to do anything, that's the end. I love the colour gradient that they've used for Shadow's title card. So at this point, because these sprites can only have come from one place, Sonic Battle? Was that already out at this point? Whoa. So the background doesn't scroll, so when you're in the air like that, you've got no point of reference. Like now, and you've got no idea where you're going to be. Oh my god. So rolling up into a ball. And being midair is not a good combo in this. Oh god. Good thing I've got tails here to like give me a good reference of where I am. ODS says, playing a shadow in 2D will always remind you of the fan game Sonic Mega Mix. You mean ROM hack. For some reason, the Sonic fan base categorizes ROM hacks and fan games separately. To such a degree where people who follow the Sonic hacking contest have absolutely no idea that Sage exists, and people who follow Sage have absolutely no idea that the Hacking contest co exists. It's very weird. But yeah, Sonic Mega Mix. What a classic. I'm trying to get Alex Yard uh, familiar or introduced to that one. He's like, I, I feel like that's an essential part of any Sonic fan's repertoire. But then the choice becomes what version to play because like I remember there was a Mega Drive version of Mega Mix and then it got ported to CD. Oh, I need a ring. And then it got cancelled and then some weird CD bill got leaked and it was very unfinished. And then it got picked up again and then it got cancelled again. I don't know. The history of Sonic Mega Mix is very confusing to me. GMT says, wait, there is a hacking contest? Indeed there is. Uh, and if I wasn't so depressed last year, I would have covered it here on this channel. Along with Sage last year as well. But I did do coverage of it over the year before, and I'll 
most likely be doing coverage of it this year. The Sonic Hacking Contest is equally as good a stage, and uh, some great projects always come out of it. Eee, being in a spin dash doesn't hurt enemies either. Oh, don't get killed by the enemy. Wow. Does this level design take the low gravity into account? I think it does, you know. I'm trying to think of some cool projects that I've come across thanks to the um, Sonic Hacking Contest. Sonic Forces Reimagined is one of them. That blew me, that blew my socks off. And um, Sonic CD Restored, that's another one that came from the Sonic Hacking Contest. <laughs> Pardon me. My preferred way to play Sonic CD, actually. And I'm trying to think, is Sonic 3 Air? Product of the hacking contest or of the amateur games expo. Sonic 3 Air is like a grey area that I'm on, where I'm not quite sure what it is, what it qualifies as. Oh yeah, I played the most recent version of Mega Mix, which is currently a Mania mod. I played that very recently too, I think. Sonic Mania Mega Mix. Oh god. <laughs> this whole having no iframes malarkey is uh, is not very good. GMT remembers Sonic Forces Overclocked. You heard it was very good and you want to play it, but unfortunately you need to buy Forces for the PC in order to experience it. The only reason why I will ever double dip on a Sonic game is if it's on PC. Oh my god, it's gonna happen again? Ah! <laughs> if it's on PC, I can mod it. Uh, that's the only reason I'll double dip on a Sonic game, and I've done that for a lot of them. I already had Sonic Forces, so when Overclock came out, it wasn't like what a lot of people were saying. Oh, people are people are buying Forces on Steam for this reason. Oh my God. No, I always have Forces on PC. Holding out for the day, a good mod would come out for it. Let's go a different way, way this time. How come when you roll, you just get less speed coming out of here? Ah. Uh oh, don't land on the spikes. Wow, what a what a bad Nick bounce that was. Oh no, not again! Oh my god. <laughs> Audio says, ever since Sonic Mania came out, I start to notice most fan games are using the vapor wave and city pop aesthetic. You'll have to explain that latter one to me. You guess AS2R is the exception. Yeah, what what would you even describe that art style as? <laughs> GMT is going to download the Mario and S what the Mario and Mario and Sonic Generations mod. I'm gu I'm guessing what's being covered up there is 64. I've seen that mod. You can do the backwards the backwards long jump thing in that, and it's crazy. Do I come out of Ultimate Flash Sonic now? That was crazy, man. Wait, why don't I turn off? Okay, everything is turned off.
I haven't played as Amy yet. Does she have a Sonic Advance 1 moveset? I very much doubt it. Vector explains that Air is considered a fan game. It's technically neither though. What is it technically? So Amy curls up into a ball in this eye. Whoa, a bit of spin dash animation is, is this? I've never seen that before. Where does that come from? Fall down here every single time. Doesn't that bad nick come from Sonic Advance 1, Angel Island? Wow, Vector Seda says that it's a fancy, la, 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 fancy emulator over the ROM. Has anybody tried to get other games running on that fancy emulator? Like, I'm surprised there isn't a version of Sonic 2 Air. You know what I mean? I know people talk about Sonic 2 Absolute, but that works off the Christian Whitehead version, doesn't it? Uh oh. Aurea says that it's from Sonic Advance 3. She can turn into a ball when you pair her with Sonic. No, I mean the, um, the spin dash animation here, this one. Where does that come from? Because it looks like an Amy peel out. And it can't have come from um, Sonic Advance 3, because this game here is a tribute to Sonic Advance 2. Which, according to this game, hadn't even come out yet or something. Oh god. Well, I think it says, this is a tribute to Sonic Advance 2, the greatest Sonic game of all time. Vectorsera explains that it's very optimised for Sonic 3, but it's also built on a framework work that maybe could be built for other games. It's crazy that there is no other project, because I'd rather have a Sonic 3 air-defied version of Sonic 1 and 2, rather than um, Absolute and um, whatever Sonic 1's is, you know, the Christian Whitehead versions. I guess Sonic 1 doesn't suffer too much in the Christy and Whitehead version, but there's just some certain things about Sonic 2 that uh, frustrate me. Actually, give me Sonic 1 as well, because I've just remembered the special stage physics are different. Audio says that I knew this peel-out animation is from Sonic Advance 3. It might be from the others. My memory of Sonic Advance 3 isn't the best, and I haven't played much, Amy. But uh, I don't recognise this from Advance 3. Mako, Mako saying Advance 2, maybe? Isn't Amy, like, really complicated to unlock in Advance 2? You need all the Chaos Emeralds or something. Because if that's the case, then I've never seen any of Amy's Sonic Advance 2 animations in game. But I see the animation and I'm afraid that I won't roll into a ball. But then it happens. Oh dear. Jump! Never mind. Yeah, that's it, isn't it? Yeah. Whoa, 
Mako says that to unlock her in Advance 2, you need all the Chaos Emeralds with all of the characters. You can't do it separately, like you can in Advance 1. No, this route always takes me up here. Ah, kind of, I'm kind of sick of it. Oh, but then no matter what, I always end up down here. Oh god, it's the dreaded spot. Oh. oh, what the hell? Well, Mako's still got a cartridge that has her unlocked. Jealous. I could probably just get a safe state on them. <laughs> Mako's research turns out that a spin dash animation in Advance 2 is very similar to this. But you're not sure it's exactly the same? Wow, could this be an edited custom sprite maybe? The only other place it could potentially come from is Battle. JMT says, yeah, all that annoying work, just for the worst character. Is Amy nothing special in Sonic Advance 2? Is she just a carbon copy of Sonic? <laughs> Pardon me. Ah, oh, there goes my no damage attempt. It takes a while to get into the right swing. Alright, this time I won't skip the credits because these are games that are no longer with us and you can only access through special means now. So let's take a look at uh, all the names responsible for. Oh! They're the giving Amy her own credits music out of Heroes. How oh, nice! <laughs> it's heavily compressed. Alright, Audi is convinced that this is in Sonic Advance 3. So, yeah, this game must have been out when Sonic Advance 3 was already a thing. GMT explains that she's meant to be a challenge mode, where she can't turn into a ball, and the only way to attack is by a bad hammer swing. Audio says you can technically play them online in certain websites. I didn't even know. Yeah, I remember this part of the credits here. Born by Sonic Advance 2, the best game ever. Ah, the nostalgia. So I'm going to have to like set different display windows for each of these games here. Uh, I said I was going to play this one next. So this this one's called Soccer Slime. And it's just a very basic two. It runs very horribly now. Like, oh, I wonder if there's anything I can do to improve the quality. It doesn't look like there is. GMT says that this is still on new grounds. So what, the, uh, Newgrounds themselves found a way to preserve these games? 
let me open this. I think I'm going to be playing it in a in a in a very tiny window. And I wonder, is this is this HD? I mean, not HD. Is this like, will this scale perfectly to 1080p? Let's find out. Uh, window capture. What am I looking at here? Whoa, what's going on? Right, transform. Bear with me. Fit to screen. That hasn't quite worked out, has it? What do I need to do here? Maybe just make it longer? Yeah, like that. Okay, I'm getting somewhere. I promise. Oh my god, it kind of nearly scales perfectly. But you know what? I'll I'll make it a little smaller because the quality of this one is, is not the best. It doesn't run at a perfect 60 FPS like the last game did. Alright, here we go. Soccer Slime. This is another classic that very much kept me entertained during classes. And it even had a two-player mode. Uh, player 1 would control using WASD. And player 2 would control using up, down, left, right. Oh yeah, explains that Newground has their own Flash emulator. Well, that's cool. Oh <laughs> says you're asking for too much for this to run at 60 FPS. Well, let's see how uh, one of my favourites from my childhood ran. I'm going to be doing any other option here is uh, for two-player mode. If you want to play single player, you got to click on World Cup. And I think you can, yeah, you can cycle through your teams. Let's be England, shall we? All right, here we go. Get a load of this frame rate. I swear this game used to run better than this. And also this graphical glitch, these graphical glitches will go away after the first goal has gone in. All right. And it also has no music. So things are gonna be eerily silent for a bit. You might even hear my keys clicking. Oh, and you've only got 25 seconds to qualify for the World Cup. But the following matches after this will be um, like two minutes or so. Oh, you can hold W or down to hold the ball. Yeah, I've qualified. Let's go. Auto yes says, "Wow, this is like Microsoft Paint on Windows XP had an emission." Yeah, I swear this used to run better as well. But maybe is it always run like this? And it was just like. Did you see that save he achieved there? That's a goal. No, it's not. You also can't hang out in your goal for too long. Can you see a little bar that decreases if I hang out near the goal for too long? If that goes all the way down, uh, you'll be penalised. And uh, a point will go to the opponent's. This is Rocket League. <laughs> GMT just made me laugh. Can I pause this? No, there is no pause. <gasps> Get in. GMT says, put big arm Sonic Generations 3DS on so it doesn't feel like the void is gone. I highly recommend... Oh my god. My finger couldn't find... The D button, and I got penalised for hanging in the goal for too long. Yeah, I highly recommend viewers to put on their own music at home right now. <laughs> yeah. I'm England, Otto, yeah. And uh, when you get enough goals in, when you get ahead enough... Uh, this made me so happy. The first time I seen it, it made me so happy again. It made me lose my attention. But yeah, I think if you get three points ahead of your opponent, what a save. <gasps> no, pinged for goal hanging. Your slime will get a, um, a big smile, a big cheesy smile on its face. Oh, God, I got pinged again. Come on, it's a draw right now. I need to get one final goal in. Come 
because I think a draw results in a game over. <gasps> no! <laughs> oh my god, what's wrong with me? Oh dear. Oh wow, that's not in. You have been eliminated. Goodbye. Very harsh. <laughs> Make ourselves pretty competent AI. And that was only like the second level. Odia says, time to turn on Wario Land for OST then. Meanwhile, Vector Seda says, boing. Come on. I don't know why they're flashing as well. That does stop after a while, doesn't it? <gasps> no. 15 seconds, two goals. Can it be done? Hell yeah. Ooh, so close. Ah, get in there. Yeah. And that's the final whistle. England qualifies for the World Cup. Let's go. England versus Japan. I don't know where they get the um, colours from. These are not colours I'd usually associate with Japan. In fact, the colours of me is more Japan. <laughs> Just replace the uh, triangle with a circle. Come on. In there. Oh, so close. No. Oh my god, I just put the ball in myself. I'm such an idiot. Oh my god. Crap. Odia says that a lot of all Flash games have good AI. It's impressive. Oh my god. That was so close. No. When I was trying this off stream to test it, I uh, I did manage to get further than the second level, but I'm really struggling right now. I had a very, very like surefire way of getting a good goal in from kickoff. And that's just gone now. Come on, get in there. What a save. Oh my God, I keep, oh, whoa, that's not quite in yet. Come on. Stop serving the ball, Japan. Oh my god, the ball is just hanging on top of the goal. I'm not going to make it, am I? <gasps> what the hell? What a save was... What kind of magic trickery is this? You have been eliminated. Goodbye. Gotta try this one more time. I wanna go somewhere. Give it give it a few more attempts. This is pretty addictive as well. So many wasted hours on this one. I should have been doing graphs and stuff. In. Get in that goal. There we go. Uh, the next game I, I, I'm moving on to is called Real Space 2, and it's one of those um, 2D space shooters. And the object of the game is just to survive and kill all the enemy ships and make sure you, um, the ships that are part of your fleet survive as well. But it, uh, it plays in a different aspect ratio, and that's going to be an interesting one to set up. In fact, if I, if I had to make a comparison, it, it, it's uh, it's aspect ratio. It's kind of like a, mob, a vertical mobile phone screen. <gasps> what a save. Is there a way I can, like, bait? Oh, my God. 
bait this AI. Come on. Into not being able to save the ball. Come on. What can I do? Get in there. Oh my god, it bounced again. Come on. What a what a shot. It's doable. Come on. What a little catch that was from him. Oh my god, what a sh what a miss that was for me. Oh my god, no freaking way. Oh crap. Now I've got my work cut out for me. Oh my god. In. What a shot. Two more. Come on, John. How can I bait the sucker? Out of goal. <sighs> Come on. Come on. I'm wasting my time. Damn, this is pretty hard. Oriya asks, why is Mexico with Brazil colours? <laughs> You'll see some very weird colour choices here. I always question them too. I can qualify in my sleep. The AI for qualifying is just easy peasy. Now, now it's time to buckle down. Power, power, Gwei. Oh my god. Oh, that was nearly a dreadful mistake. Come on. Come on, ball. Go to where you are. I want you to. Come on, slime. Come here. No frickin' way. What are the odds of that? <gasps> I just remember my technique for scoring. There we go. I need to bait him over to my end at the start of the at the kickoff. There we go. Strategy. There we go, that's another one in. Can I get the big cheesy grin? Nice. <coughs> this isn't the only slime game as well. Like they they did all kinds of slime sparks, but sparks, spots, but uh, soccer was always my go-to slime flash game. I think. This game here is based on an earlier one called Slime Volleyball. He could have scored there, but he fucked it up. Wow. That's in. Audio says, I guess you can call this game Pong Deluxe. And Mako's popping out. I'll see you later, man. Thanks for dropping by in the first place. Oh my god. Alright, I've actually gotten somewhere. So, no matter what happens from here, I'll move on to the next game. And then the last Flash game I'm visiting tonight is another Sonic-themed themed one. And I was thinking about it when playing Sonic Adventure. Hearing the music using Windy Valley. 
I'm thinking, ah, oh, this is from uh, Sonic 3D Blast, but this isn't how I experienced it. Now, I found, I found the way I experienced um, Green Grove 16-bit music for the first time. Oh. <gasps> What can I do to, what can I do to bait, oh what a goal that was, I was thinking what can I do to bait the CI, how about I just have an accurate shot, oh that's another goal, sweet, I nearly got pinged for being in the goal there. <laughs> Is that in? No, it's going to bounce. And you, these ball physics as well are pretty, pretty damn good, I have to say. Take that, Slovenia. <gasps> what, what a catch. <gasps> Ooh, that's in. Wow, I'm just wiping the floor with them now. 6-0. Can I get a Brazil? Well, to get a Brazil, he'd got he'd have to get a score as well. Oh, no, no. Well, there it is. So, if I can get a score in and make it 7-1, he's been Brazil'd. <laughs> get in there. Come on. 3, 2... <gasps> <laughs> he's been Brazil'd. And that's the final whistle. England is through to the final. Wow, this is the last level then. England versus Sweden. Not Sweden, Sweden. Get in there. Oh, what a catch. Oh, and this final game is five minutes long. Wow. So this is actual Rocket League length here. I should have put on a bet. Who's going to win? Get in there. Oh, he's good. He's good. <gasps> no. Oh, that was so close. Oh, what a shot. Get in there. We don't need to be reminded. Thank you, JJ. What what are you talking about? <gasps> oh. I go oh I was in goal for too long. Damn. What a shot. Oh, he tricked me. GMT is filling the Dread of the Void with Spider-Man 2 on the PS5. I'm kind of glad that there's no music for like a football game. Because like, what the hell are you going to do? I, th I think, can you think of any football game where like you have music in game by default? I know that Rocket League and probably FIFA let like you listen to the um, in-game soundtrack in... Um, during gameplay, but I think it's an option you have to toggle, but not on by default, because a lot of players find that stuff distracting. And also, this is this is how I played this game. <gasps> the the computers at school didn't have any speakers; they couldn't produce any sound. And if they did, you wouldn't want to, because you don't want to get caught playing flash games at school. <laughs> Oh, 
No, 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 no. That was close. What's the score? 3-3? Three, three? <gasps> no! Uh-oh. Oh. Is it because I kept making reference to 7-1? And you were doing the whole football thing where you say we as if you there yourself were there and participated. That's really funny. David Mitchell and Robert Webb have a really funny sketch about that very concept. But oh yeah, doesn't even know why he said we, because he doesn't even care about soccer. <laughs> well, I'm sorry for upsetting you by uh, saying Brazil. It's a thing you hear a lot in Rocket League. Getting Brazil. I'm sorry that I've made a mockery, but it's not my fault. It's a thing. There's another kind of score combo, a score tally. I can't remember what they call that one, but it's 8-2. Oh, God. Ah, I just scored that for him. It looks like I'm going to get knocked out of the finals here. Oh, he's got a big cheesy smile on his face. Come on, get in there. I just need to make that happen another three times. Come to the goal. That's right. Oh, what a catch. Oh my god, did that actually go in? No freaking way. Oh my god. He's got his own sneaky little strategy. Oh my god, he did it again. Oh my god. He did it again, I did it again, did it again. Oh my god, I got pinged for goal hanging. I've lost all of my concentration now. Wow, 13-5? How did that happen? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm getting my just desserts for talking about 7-1. There we go, there's a goal in. Oh, let's make this less embarrassing. Get in there. Oh my god. <gasps> oh my god. That kind of fizz through me. Damn you. I can't even get like half of his score and maintain it. It happened again. Two seconds left. You came second. Are you satisfied with that? I'm satisfied with that. Thank you. Quinn Pendragon for creating this game that helped me get through many, many boring school lessons. Oh, God. And uh, no other game I'll be playing tonight will run that slowly or badly. Let me quickly take a drink. So I doubt like anybody's played any of the other ones that I'll be playing tonight, but you never know. This one's actually, like, I got curious. And nostalgic over this one a few years ago and I looked it up, decided to look it up on YouTube and it turns out this one, at least at the time when I was looking at it about three, four years ago, is getting a full on remake. This real space two. Uh let me get the let me get this compatible working with um OBS. Oh dear, pardon me. I think this one actually has music as well. Something's not gone quite right there. Let me load it up again. There we go. Sounds like I've got to sort that out in the mixer. There we go. 
This is the only music that plays throughout this game, so I uh, get ready for repetition. Uh, da, 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 da. Um, I'm not quite 100% sure this is scaled properly. I think this is actually fine. Oh, he has getting huge space pinball 3D vibes. Right, I'm pretty sure this game has difficulty options. And when I was uh, replaying this last week, this was the first one I went to when I loaded up this up to try things out. I played it on this difficulty here. It's time to move up a notch, I, th I think. Every level gives you a mission briefing. And the keys are up, down, left, right. Uh, one, two, three, and four, and spacebar. Uh, the start of every every mission will give you these uh, mission intros and tell you what you got to be doing. But ultimately, each mission boils down to destroy all the enemies, make sure your guys survive. This one always impressed me with its graphics, really. And how it had um, parallax scrolling. You rarely see that in Flash games. Parallax. Ah, yeah. Sometimes this game will stutter for like a second and then start running again. Audio asks WTF is happening on screen? <laughs> uh, so, our base just got defeated by the enemies so now we're out to get revenge so basically I'm, I'm just going to be flying towards all the red dots the grey dots are my guys if I die or if I'm left with one ship in my guys it's game over But your guys have got AI, so you don't need to worry too much. They can defend themselves, but they can get overwhelmed quite easily. Ooh, pickups. Gotta save these for a later level. Ah. Shield boost. This kind of study here, this will happen every now and then, but don't worry too much about it. It only happens on this game, actually. I thought it would be a thing with all the Flash games on here, but nah, it just turns out this one has that specific problem. I'll just skip all the intro, all the intros because they all boil down to the same thing. Protect your ships, destroy the enemy ships. my white guys. Come here. Jeez. 
GMT will be right back. You're about to watch the new Invincible episode. Is the new season any good? Because I'm a big fan of the first season. asks, any updates on the show? Uh, things are looking very different right now and um, I'm just in the middle of making lots of things for the game. Alright, where are my guys going? The next thing I want to focus on is map design. And i got a lot of work to do in that department. But a lot of the graphics have been replaced. And it's looking like a completely different game now, which is good. Give me the shield. How many of my guys have survived? Ooh, he's dropped a beam upgrade. Ooh, double fire, that's an amazing power. It lasts for a limited amount of time. This is my favourite power up to get by far. Okay, there's a lot of powerful ships here. Don't get too close. Sweet. GMT says that season 2 of Invincible is amazing so far, but you would wait until the full thing is out. Is the mid-season delay killed off a lot of your hype? It did that. It did a mid-season delay. That's not cool. But uh, advice well taken. That's probably why I haven't watched it yet. Otherwise, I would have watched it with Seagull J. He's probably waiting for it to all be out as well. I think this mission is quite easy compared to the last one. Because all these little transport ships don't attack and are quite weak. song in this game might be very repetitive but it, it hugely helps that everything else has its own sound effect all the explosions and shots and stuff helps stop it from being that repetitive audio wants to know why streaming services release seasons on half I'm pretty sure you were very frustrated with that when it came to some crime one season split up into three and calling it three separate seasons. You can't fool us. I was about to say Capcom there. <laughs> That's one of the lines in uh, my top 10 videos. Uh, my top 10 games video. You can't fool me, Capcom. Ships are now starting to get more powerful. Think.
rockets. That's the first time I picked them up. ships are now getting rockets. Well, he died. Oh dear. Rockets everywhere. Oh god. I need to get out of here. I need to get with the fleet and be protected with everybody. Oh snap. Sorry for using you as a shield, big guy. Oh god, I really need some shields. Oh crap. Oh, I'm so exposed. God, that's it, game over. I think if you die in this, you have to restart again from the beginning. Game over. <laughs> and I don't think you can, um... Yeah, restart from the last menu. That's unfortunate. shield boosts when I don't need it as well. Yank. If I hadn't have destroyed him, I wouldn't have got that upgrade. Come here. Yeah, let's try and count how many layers of parallax scroll in the size. It's gotta be at least four, right? gone by the time I get there. Yep. Ooh. Come here. Got a 
Oh, I just lost the ship. I can't fly off the boundaries yet. Oh. Alright, where's the majority of everyone going? Is everybody going one way? Okay. <clears throat> that means I don't have to protect anybody. Double shots. And the shield boost, perfect. Let's take care of these guys here. Tear through them with my double shots. Goodbye, double shots. Oh, hello again, double shots. I'm gonna wait for my fleet to catch up with me though because there's a very powerful ship in this corner. God, it's crazy how well I can remember this. Also, we're playing as the bad guys right now. If you manage to get to the final level, well, the second final level. You see that you're, you're, you're trying to get to Mars, and then on the final level, the goal is to destroy the Earth. And that caught me off guard when I played this and completed it for the first time as a kid. I was like, whoa, that's grim, that's dark. Oh, nice. Keep giving me lovely upgrades I can use in the mission I died on. destroying the ship, but it will tear through your own health. Not a single transport ship can escape. Wow, I'm getting lots of beam. I will not take this for granted. Is the next level the one I died on? No, it was six. Give me a shield boost, please. Whoa, did you see me on ship die right in front of me? Come here. I don't 
don't think I'm gonna make it again. And if that's the case, I'll move on to the final Flash game of the night. The Sonic and Tetris uh, crossover. Which is actually quite hard because you can't store the blocks like you can in regular Tetris. And uh, whenever you clear like more than one line in this Sonic Tetris game, uh, a Sonic character will come down and you can use them to destroy blocks and uh, that, that can be not very beneficial if you're trying to play Tetris and get perfect lines. You see a character come down and destroy blocks, it's, it, it messes with things. It's very hard to get far. You'll see what I mean. Uh, this is the mission I died on. <laughs> oh god, the ships are very big coming my way, oh my god. Get away! Run! Double fire. Thank you. everywhere. More double fire. Oh god. I see a yellow thing on the map here. What is it? It's a shield boost. Ah! It was worth it. Oh my god, another shield boost. Ah! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I just crashed, crashed into that ship and lost all of that health I got back. Oh dear. I'm dead again. Oh well. A Barton mission. A Barton game. Time to move on to the final Flash game of the night. And then I'll take a break. And then I'll be returning to um, Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening on the Game Boy Color. Because I really enjoyed that one last week. Alright, let's come out of you and return to you. Alright, time to experience the first way I heard Green Grove's music for the Mega Drive. And this one's probably going to require another full screen mode. Yeah, this, this is going to be a weird one. Because this is what I'm dealing with here, so let me resize that so that it's suitable for you. God, this is the first time I heard any Sonic 3D blast for the Genesis music. And I probably have to do the volume. That's not it. Volume mixer. Oh! It uses the same flash pl player as the one from earlier, so all I have to do is turn it down a little bit more. Alright, let me just crop this down to a decent viewing size. I think the size will do. There's a lot of black on the screen. I can only apologise. This is very like... This is another phone resolution size one, isn't it? Options. Just music and quality. Alright, so this one's just a crossover between Sonic and Tetris. I used to play this one a lot as well. Every now and then Eggman will come on screen, like right now, and uh, start to drop things and mess with your blocks. And if you can time, if you can time getting like more than one line with Eggman coming on screen and the character falls and you hit Eggman with that character, you'll get like a points bonus. 
It's very hard to time, right? I also find that the random blocks that it generates for your next, like, um, quite often you'll find that you don't get very helpful blocks, and that's what I mean when I say a character will come down. When, whenever you get more than one line, I think Knuckles is two lines, Tails is three lines, and Sonic himself is four lines. It's very hard to get four lines on this because you can't store any of your tetra memos or whatever, whatever they're called. Legally distinct Tetris blocks. B L O X. Every level, Eggman's mech will be different as well. I mean, essentially, oh my god, why has it given me three of these in a row? Yeah, Eggman's mech might have changed, but essentially it still just does the same thing. Gets rid of one block. Alright, you can give me one of those four straight line blocks now, please, again. Appreciate it. Oh my god, give me something useful. It's just giving me this green one over and over again. Jeez Louise. And this blue one. Way. Finally, something that'll fit down here. See if I can use knuckles. Ah, it's better than nothing. I'm gonna summon him again. Ah, I was hoping to get rid of two blocks there. Never mind. This is what I mean when I said uh, when the character comes down, it can mess up your player quite a bit. Rid of something useful, like man. Oh, these blue blocks become incredibly hard to see against some of these backgrounds. themselves. Up tilts the block and uh, you know you don't need me to explain the rest, this is Tetris. Uh, I'm getting useless blocks. These Z shaped blocks are my least favourite Tetris blocks to get. Enough of the Zeds. Oh god. Okay, now things are going quite badly. What time is it? Wow, we've just passed the two hour mark. So what a time for me to die. Eggman, are you gonna, like, destroy something useful? 
Oh god. Wow, look at that. That is... That's not useful. That is awful. Oh my god. Yeah, that's one other flaw with this, is when you hold a block to go down. Uh, good luck with the next one, because you'll find that it's probably already halfway down the screen by the time you let go of the down button. Oh dear. You know what, I've got four minutes. Let's see if I can do better this time. And it started me off with a Z-shaped block, right off the bat. Not cool, not cool. Oh god. <sighs> ah, and it's just giving me a Z again? This is just... You know, no matter what, every time I play this, I just feel like... It is uh, generating the most unfair possible block for me next. You see those graphics on the side of the, um, what do you even want to call it, Tetris board? Tetris play area, where are those blocks? source from these tiles here. I can't say that I recognise them. Oh really? Did I just have a block that could have fit in any of those and I decided to put it somewhere stupid? How come I only ended up colliding with one there? Pardon me, again. Pardon me. I'm gonna die a lot sooner in this attempt. Jesus, stop giving me Z-blocks. Piece of shit. Yay, Z-Block. Alright, I've made it to Oil Ocean and it's given me a bloody another Z-Block. What am I supposed to do with these? Try and get a block down there. But there's only like one that I can get through there, if you're thinking about it. Everything else is just gonna get stuck. Oh god. Ice! I sense a game over coming very, 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 very soon. Right, yay! Useless set box. Thank you. Oh dear.
Well, that was well timed. Looking at my clock, it's like exactly 10 o'clock right now. So let's take a break. And I need to set up my switch streaming. My, my Elgato for my switch. Do 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 do. Let's come out of there. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Thank you, Flashpoint. And I think I'd rather use an app to play Flash games than uh, like go on a website and then do all that resizing stuff there. Break time, yes. I'm gonna go refill my water, get some fresh air. So let's hop on over to the South Island screen. Oh, but does that mean we're going to miss a potential ad when I open the playlist and hit random? Uh, where is my playlist? There it is. Alright, shuffle. Wow, no ad. No ad. And to play us into the break, Wolfie Melon is going to be playing the Basil Goose live piano cover from Monster Hunter. Uh, I'll be gone for 5 to 10 minutes. Enjoy the break. I'll be back soon.
interested in accountancy, give yourself the
Welcome back from the break. I hope you had a lovely one, because I certainly did. You were listening to Urukai Piano's cover of the theme to Panty and Stocking. You can find it in the playlist in the description over on YouTube. Now that I've played some Flash games, I'm going to be continuing with part two of my Zelda Link's Awakening DX playthrough. The last thing I did was do the first dungeon. And uh, I think the game told me I had to go to the swamp next, so let's go. This one has been very enjoyable. This has been unforgettable, this game. Oh, and these guys are going to remind me what to do as well. Hey, buddy. It's serious. Yeah, really serious. Yeah, it is. The moblins come to the village. Yeah, that's right. A whole gang of moblins. Then, it's for real, they all went to the house. Yeah, that house. And then they did something at Bow Wow's house. It was a really bad scene with the moblins. So I mean, ah! It might be faster to find out for yourself what happened. Okay, let's do that. When they say Bow Wow, do they mean the house that had the chain, chain chomp outside of it? Wasn't this th that house? My Bow Wow was dognapped by Moblins. <coughs> okay. Let's um, remind myself of what my inventory is. I've got the feather for jumping. So was that the last thing I got? I've also got a cello. Push, select. <coughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How do I access those instruments? Oh. And this is sleep powder, isn't it? Oh, are you dead? Oh. I didn't know you were dangerous. to the swamp. This is a fishing minigame. Okay, the lake is up north. Do I have to go through the forest to get to it? this forest. I can't believe I missed those really obvious crystals in the last episode. Ooh, but this music's good. Oh! Oh yeah. I did have a shield, but now I'm jumping. Wait, is there anything new here that I can now just jump over? Can't jump over the rock. This is where that raccoon was, wasn't it? Okay, so is this where the swamp is? Can I just jump over these pits now? Yep. To this chest. Jump. Did 
Joey. Stop walking into rocks. Oh, I couldn't access this house before, could I? Is this the, the is this that house that the kids were talking about? Hello. Well, I pretty much stick to myself, me and my letters. My name's Wright. As in Mr. Wright. This. The only thing I don't like about my hobby is that I never receive a response. Oh. What's the point in this place? Here's the swamp. Hey. What are these? Can't jump over them. Where? Will my sleep powder work on these? Somebody said in the last stream, um, if in doubt, sleep powder. Oh, you have to use B and A. Okay, so A, B. That didn't do anything, <laughs> did it? No. How nice is it that this 8-bit um, game keeps the music playing when you go in the menu, unlike um, a certain Castlevania Symphony of the Night, which has that jar and no music on the pause screen. I quickly got over it, I quickly got the ability to um, navigate that screen very quickly in Castlevania. But it's still very weird having no music on your pause screen. Well, not pause screen. I mean, like an equip screen. What's that? A chest? How do I get to it? Oh. Uh, if... Oh, God. I wonder. I doubt it, but I'm going to try sleep powder on these guys as well. That didn't do anything, did it? I've taken this bow wow too. Hmm. Oh, I can't go this way. Whoa, I lost a lot of health here. Guy. 
Thank you. Am I gonna get a clue from you? Live in the mysterious forest. But some live in the caves of Tal Tal Heights. I hope that is what you wanted to know. Cool, so the telephone does give you hints that are very useful. So, Tal Tal Heights. The word heights implies that it's gonna. Ooh, I never went up here, did I? Yeah, the word heights implies that I've gotta go up. What is this? It's got eyes. Music. The fish stirs in the egg. You are there. Uh, okay. <laughs> Uh, there's not a lot I can do here, is there? He says, what happens? I was watching one of the best shows of all time. Season 2 doesn't disappoint me, I'll take it. Did I fully explore the inside of the caves? I don't feel like there was a lot to see. I jumped over the thing. I got the thing. Would it be horrible if I fell down here? Oh, and uh, not a lot happened. I took a break, I finished playing the Flash games, and now we're here playing um, some more of Link's Awakening. Hopefully I won't um, get major stuck like I did last time when I when I couldn't notice the crystals. Right, there's definitely nowhere to go from here, so maybe I gotta go back in the forest, like the telephone said. Du -du -du -du. Jump over. No. I think I know what my next VGM request is gonna be. Over in the AYZ. Did I save someone in the forest? Um, right now I'm looking for a bow wow. Ooh. And this here junction might just be where I need to go, actually. Oh, this is the other side of the swamp. Cool. There's nowhere else to go from here, is that I've been every other possible way. Can't get over these rocks. The next way is north. JMT says, Save Bow Wow. He is the goodest boy. I got a choice here. The wind fish in name only, for it is neither. <coughs> So much choice here. Whoa. There, ah, who's the suspicious looking yunt? Yunt? Okay, boys. Let's get rid of him. Ow. <laughs> Can I sleep powder this guy? Oh, 
Oh, it put him on fire. Wow. Oh god. Oh, it said runt. Oh my god, this font is so hard to read, Vector. <laughs> uh, GMT's got the correction as well. You must be an assassin sent by Madame. My brain went web there. Meow meow to rescue the mutt. You came here to get me, but it is I who will get you. Who does this guy look like? Whoa. Wait, can I put him to sleep? Let's find out. Nah, it doesn't work on him. Ow. I can block that. I'm guessing I have to wait for him to look squashed. And then hit him now. Whoa, that's the same noise that Wario makes in Super Mario Land 2 when you hit him. Is this guy Wario? Oh god, why did I turn around though? Come closer. Ow. Come on, how many more hits? Oh, I was too late. I wanted to hit him with a more powerful hit. He was only one hit away from retirement anyway. Ooh, the fairy that restores my health. So he wasn't the final boss of here. Oh, it's Bow Wow. You won't hurt me now, right? You saved Bow Wow. What a fearsome beast. Oh, he's now attached to me. GMT says that those electric cucumber slimes are affected by the powder. And I'm sure I'll know what an electric cucumber slime is when I see one. Alright, let's return him to his mom. Uh, I probably need to re-equip the jump. I hope he doesn't wear me down. Will he attack the other guys? That would be nice. Yeah! That's exactly what I wanted. Yeah! Good boy! Good boy. Uh, this isn't the right place, is it? What is this place? Wait, is it this way? Um, no, it's not. Wait, what? GMT says go to the other part of the swamp with them first? Okay. The game doesn't explain that. The other part of the swamp, that's this way, isn't it? No, it's not here, but I'll happily take this power up. 
as Jeremy Clarkson would say. Power! So why have I got to come here? Tiberius is here. How's it going? Oh, he eats these flowers. Oh. I guess the game does try to teach you this with the way that he hits enemies. Will he take out these guys too? Wow, he does. That's crazy. I never would have guessed that, so thanks for the hint. Oh, there's a chest there. just rupees. Oh, and there's some more to take out over here, isn't there? Eat them. Should I enter this cave with them as well? Come on, take care of all of them. Good lad. And the last one. Tiberius is asking who wants to join his Discord server. I'm good. But, uh, good luck with growing, growing a community on Discord. Wait, where did the Bow Wow go? I just got completely in... Okay, so he's still outside. And it would turn out that I need him out here because these things respawn. Okay. So I'll do this dungeon first then, I guess. Bottle Grottle. Ooh, dark effect. Oh, don't hit these guys. I need a key. Hmm. Okay. Can I put this guy to sleep? No. I guess whatever needs doing here, it's 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 not time for unless I'm missing something. And it's, it wouldn't be unlike me to miss something. Wait, there's a door. Hang on, it. Hang on a second. Can I make it to that door before it closes? When does it close? Does it close when I exit this area? I think it does, you know. Yeah. So, I can't do anything here, right? I'm, I'm definitely not missing anything, like crystals. I'm overthinking again. What was that? Oh, it was a fish, wasn't it? Okay, I'm gonna take him back to... What's up here? Yeah, I'm gonna take him back to his owner now. Come on, Bow Wow, get rid of it. got a mind of his own. Which makes sense. There we go. It's like we're playing a beta version of The Last Guardian. GMT says that torches are allergic to powder. Alright, let's exit this place. down and jump and sends you left. Ah, uh, yeah, I know where this is. Which means the way out is this way. 
Now would you be a dare and take him for a walk? It would really help me out a lot. You will? Thanks. Hmm. So can I think of anywhere else that has such a blockade? There's already been so many tiles unlocked. Hmm. Maybe the telephone house will help me out. The indigestible flowers of Gopanga Swamp. Those flowers are Bow Wow's favourite. Why don't you take them for a walk there? So I've missed something. <laughs> I've got to go back to the dungeon. Are you serious? I've missed something. GMT says, remember what the powder did to that guy. It will do the same to the top. Oh, God. Thank you. <laughs> oh, well, that power up's gone. Save that enemy. Ow. I wonder if you can command it. Wow. My question is. Because GMT is once again saying it. the game is kind of vague. Uh, my question is, has the game already taught me this and I just forgot? And it's not like you can practice that on these torches, it doesn't work on them. Torches? What torches? Oh, you mean these? Oh. Well, I'm so dumb. <laughs> oh, and they only stay lit for a limited amount of time too. Hello there. Now, do I use it on the room right in front of me, or do I go back to the other room? Oh, what's this? I've got the enemy caught on there. Oh god. Suck. Oops. <laughs> oh, 
interesting. That's for access to that chest there, right? Not way there. I can just get that chest like this. There is no point to that switch, is there? Shy guys? Are they even invulnerable as well? Wow. Might be beyond my depth right now. Venturing too far deep into this dungeon. Bats. Ow. Oh, there's one of those uh, things that you got to stick a beacon to. I don't have one of them. Or do I? Can I reuse the one that I got in the previous dungeon? Let's find out. Wait, what? They mirror your moves. I just noticed that. They go the opposite direction that you're pressing. That's clever. have I got? Can I tell? I've got two. So I can afford to open this stuff. But there's just a shy guy in it. Wait. Oops. I wish... I hope the remake of this game, um sorts out that every time you touch something. Yeah, part of me wonders, is something gonna happen if I make the shy guy go into this block? I must find out. But I don't think I can make him reach it. Oh, but you can make them... Okay. Well, I guess nothing happens if you get the shy guy into that block. Alright, there's the next door. Oh, God. I hope the game remembers what I did. I'm guessing I'm going to come out of this dungeon with the ability to lift up pots. Because there's a chest there. Alright, so what happens when I light these on fire? Yeah. 
nothing. <laughs> GMT wonders if there was an attack where you can hit things behind you. I'm guessing the only way to do that is to charge up one of these. Clue. Probably. That's what happened last time. I put a beak inside of an owl statue. Wrong button. What if I run out of this powder? Would I have to go back to the witch with more mushrooms? Did I ever go this way? Oh yeah, there's a shy guy in here. The shy guy's masks are invincible. So if I can creep up behind one, does that mean I can kill one? Compass. Now you can see where the chests and nightmare are hidden. This compass has a new feature. A tone will tell you if a key is hidden in a room when you enter. So there's another room with a shy guy in. Hmm, I wonder if all rooms with a tile like that in are important. Part of the floor is raised. Tap the blue crystal. I didn't need I didn't need that clue. Where was that other shy guy at? Do, 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 do. Oh nice, you get a a refill here. Key hidden in this room. And the key is falling down there. Will that key respawn? Or stay there? Alright, e excellent. Where do I use this key though? That's the question. Every block design the same. A new path will open. Make every block design the same. God damn. Okay. Fuck off. God damn it. I think I see what I have to do. But is it going to move that way? Hmm. Oh dear. I'm gonna die. Wrong 
Sekunden. Just get a free refill. You sleep stuff here. Itchy nose. God, I hate how this mes message comes up every single time. Yeah, why won't it move this way? Because I presume what it means... Oh God. Unless it wants me to push those two into that block, but that, to me, doesn't say the same. Reread that. Make every block design the same. To me, that means move these two blocks here and here. But whatever. Oh, 2D side scrolling. the nightmare. It's usually a mini boss and then a big boss. So all the enemies make that noise in this game. Good thing I didn't land on that right away. Oh, that's what it was, a Hinox. I've heard of them, because I've played Bre Breath of the Wild. It looks like I might need the ability to jump again. Sucked into that hole there. I hate this message. First, defeat the imprisoned Paul's voice. Last, Stalfoss. Whoa. What, what the? At last you got a map. Well, I've always had a map. More free refills. Putting 
rupees inside walls. That's not cool. I can use my sword to get it, right? Gotta go this way, right? Booze! Wait, 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 wait. Go away. You found the power bracelet. At last, you can pick up pots and stones. At last! And it's something I've got to equip. Oh! That's weird, the controls for it. You have to hold the B button, or whatever button you decide, and then press the opposite direction. That's kind of immersive, actually. It makes you really feel like you're pulling something. You know, the, the best a D-pad can, anyway. Hmm. Oh, I forgot I didn't have the jump equipped there. Well, I just screwed myself over, didn't I? Exactly what I wanted to see. Uh, I got a choice here. I'm gonna have to jump. I'll go the other way. Oh, but I still need to jump. what blocks are being affected by the switch. Ooh, hidden key. It sounds like GMT loves how the um, pulling, the, the pulling system works as well. Hmm. Must I really get this message now that I've, um, Got that power. There we go. Hello. So now we got piranha plants. Should I just go back the other way? I'll just 
to go up. Ha, there's a key hidden in this room. Oh. I wonder if I can move any of these. I can. But I wouldn't want to squish you, would I? Oh, is that what the game wants me to do? Mwahaha. <laughs> There's also that door there. Hmm. So none of these other ones can be pushed. But you two can be pushed down. For what reason? Can, it, can you be pushed down again? Whoa. What's that? Oh. Are you, like, harmful? Yeah, you do hurt me. Are you following me? I wonder what happens if I hit it with sleep powder. It falls asleep. You can damage enemies with pots? Wow. Let's try that. Ah, yeah. Oh. Wow. And uh, there's still a key hidden in here. Looks like I don't have any keys left. Was there something up here? No. Oh, you can ha cling on to walls? That's weird. Very curious, this. I'm gonna guess that I'm too early for him. Oh god. From the beginning, I go. Oh, all the way back to the beginning. 
That's actually a good thing. But it's only 50 rupees. I could take or leave them rupees. Okay, so the boss is that way. That's a hell of a clue. Thanks for that. Question is, how do I get back to that area in particular? taken me where I needed to be. Was there any reason to power on the torches in this room? Oh crap, that wasn't the jump button. Do 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 do. Yeah, no reason to turn the lights on in here. This place, okay. So this is a shortcut. Optional hearts if I need them. key hidden in this room. How strange. And it's not attached to that rabbit. So pots are heavy. Mm -hmm. 
Wow, I didn't even think that you could climb ladders with them. Crazy. Can I even open that door? Eh, it's locked. You can open the door with a nightmare key. Why are you repeating the message? So I'm missing a key, huh? And why do I think it's in that bunny rabbit room? I need to figure out what to do in there. Hmm, I wonder if I can like take a pot out here with me. Can't take it across screens. Damn. Ow. I'm gonna destroy every pot in this room. It's not kill him, whatever it is you have to do in here. <laughs> what are the rooms over there? Apparently there's an unexplored room underneath me. Underneath me? Round about here. The rabbit's gone. This is uh, confusing. Confused is, is the word of the day. I feel like I'm going to die very soon.
Oh, shit. Do, 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 do. Yeah, there's no other room I haven't been in, right? Oh, crap. Why did I do that? I thought I could jump. Vector wonders if the stones need to be arranged in a specific pattern. There's a very limited number of ways that they can be pushed. One of them has to go down, regardless, right? Because none of the other, none of the others can be pushed another way, unless they can be pulled. Can't even move them back to where they were afterwards. <laughs> Once you move them, they're, they're there for good. Unless you reload the room, of course. some reason that one can move along twice. Let's see how many different ways I can push these. GMT says defeat the enemies in this room in a certain pattern. Hmm. There are no enemies in this room. Do I have to, like, reload them like this? Ow. Thanks, GMT. For, for some reason, that seemed way more plausible. Because I just can't think of any other ways these rocks could be moved here. So now I can go fight the boss, right? Oh, that 
enemy wanted me though. I think I would have tried that eventually, defeating the enemies in a certain order. The thought had already occurred to me. Alright, don't forget to use pots. the shield. Ho ho ho, I'm your bad guy this time. Ho ho ho. It's a straight poyo poyo. Oh. It's a clown. Clown genie. You can't hurt me as long as I have my bottle, he just said. Whoa. My shield isn't blocking those fire attacks. Just proceed to the bus. Hey! Go away! Nobody wants to give me a heart. Be lucky enough to find some in here. Nope. Alright, so my shield is useless here. I have my ball. Hmm. So I wonder, do I have to pick it up? God damn it. It's 
It's weird. It's really weird how you can just climb ladders while holding the pot. You know, in my mind, I wouldn't think that was possible or a thing because you need your hands to climb ladders. All right, jump and then what? Re-equip the the grab. Bounce off the ball. Ow. I'll keep it equipped for now. Oh god. Fucking hell. <laughs> well. Now I know the next part of its attack. <laughs> Is it? Ha, ah, so it is. GMT just pointed out how the dungeon is shaped like a pot. See how long I can survive this time. Don't touch the pot. Bounces off me. Shit. Hmm. Now that he's not wiggling about, yeah. Jumping would be the best way of avoiding them. Is he gonna stop firing them at me now so I can equip my shield? I wonder if I can throw him into the fire and it would do more damage. Jump. Okay, dude, I get the I get the message with that. broke my bottle. Why you? You make me hopping mad. Whoa. Don't 
going to hit me with more bloody flames. I think here might be the best place to stand. Alright. Third time's the charm. And then it's this way, right? Another instrument. What does this look like? It's not very detailed. Hmm. Now I'm stumped. I cannot guess what kind of musical instrument this is from the sprite. Let's just find out. It looks like a shell. Yeah, it is. It's a con a conch horn. Conch? How would you even say that? Prairie. The prairie is waiting. I can now move rocks. Does this mean I no longer need to walk Bow Wow or can he just stay with me for the rest of the adventure? Side caves with me. Was that a new item I just picked up? Oh god. I need to jump. Ow. Oh snap. GMT says check my inventory because I've just got some bombs. I can't waste that. Whoa, where am I? I've only got one. Oh dear. Oh, you can push them into the... Oh god. God damn it. More bombs? Do these guys just give out bombs every time? Because that would be nice. I 
Okay, now I guess I can experiment. Somebody give me a heart. I doubt it's going to be a bomb, since it's a, a kind of item that displays a message. Yeah. I'd rather be safe than sorry. Now, am I going to make it back in one piece, or am I going to die? This is quite good. Keyhole? Angler Keyhole. What is this? Whoa. The hell? What did that do? Did that just send me up in the sky? This is the same area, isn't it? Huh. I didn't get all of them. What do you mean? Oh, wait. exploration phase of the game, isn't it? So much of the world has opened up to me now. I've already been here, right? I'll find out what that does later. It looks very shiny, doesn't it? It looks very... Come here later on. Kills you. Can you be 
kill him. Yeah, don't go in the water. Did I ever go up this way? Ah, that's how I got here in the first place. seen that before. Have I been up here? Yeah. Is this game compatible with the Game Boy camera by any chance? See me later when you're alone. Oh, I don't I am I, I'm not alone right now. Wait, that music sounded really familiar. says it is compatible with the Game Boy printer and this part was removed in the remake, understandably. But uh, doesn't the Nintendo Switch have a bloody camera on one of the Joy-Cons? If they really wanted to, they could have used that pointless feature. Wow. There's still so much to explore. damage the ghost. Pretty dangerous. Where am I gonna spawn? Ah. You know, for a moment I thought it'd been ages since I'd last visited a building. Thank goodness for the camera shop. I've been here. In fact, this is the very dungeon I found you, isn't it? It's nearly coming to the four hour mark already. Time flies when you when you're playing this game. Ooh, a new area. So before we take you home. Jump is going to help me here. Oh. <clears throat> Jump! Oh, it just helps. But I can't do anything with it. <clears throat> this is weird. Um, it was 
down this way, wasn't it? If she says that he still needs to go for a walk, then uh, I've, I've got no complaints with that. How can I ever repay you? <laughs> All I got was a smooch. So that means I can now, like, pick up people's pots. But nothing good is ever going to come of that, right? Nope. Alright, so he's now reattached to his, um, post. Which means I'm, I'm free to explore. Oh, you can't move the tiles into um, places you, you've not been before. That's where I'm supposed to go next. But let's have a look see at the shop. I can buy 10 bombs for 10 rupees, is that right? Or... 10 bombs, 10 rupees. What a deal that is. Way I man. I'm also going to buy the shovel since I've never bought the shovel before. Yeah, I'm going to buy it, man. I wonder what I can use that for. So, is this going to be three hearts for ten rupees? Trying to buy something you have no use for. Oh, so those are... I see. Okay, okay. I don't need them. They're to recover your health. Okay. It is actually possible to steal from the shop in this game. Whoa, he's got new stock. He's got a bow now. At least that looks like a bow. So I can just steal these bombs off him. Hey, you, stop, you got a pair. Put it back. <laughs> I'll buy 10 more bombs. What a bargain. Is he going to restock? <laughs> I wonder if there's a cap. 30. Wait. So I think the cap is 30. I'm going to waste another 10 coins. Coins. Ah, uh, Trying to buy something you have no use for. Well, at least... That doesn't spend coins. You gotta dizzy him up first. Oh. I'm thinking of Skyrim right now. Putting a pot on a shopkeeper's head and um, stealing from them. Did that actually come from this game? Except you gotta put them to sleep. That's pretty damn cool. Nintendo thought to put that in their silly little Game Boy game. I'm impressed. Oh, 
Oh, hello. They can fly now? They can fly now. They can fly now. They can fly now. Um, I, I know you're going to give me a clue, but I, I'm not going to know what it means. Have you met everyone on the island? There's a man named... Pardon me. Richard, who lives in Pothole Field, southeast of the village. Never eat shredded wheat, so southeast. We're going that way. Or because I'm being mirrored right now, we're going that way. Yeah. Also, God, looking at myself in OBS, I look like I'm red hot in a mess. Do I look like a mess to you guys? <laughs> Oh, we're coming up to the four hour mark as well. I should find somewhere good to call it. That would be a good place to call it. GMT says that theft exists in the Zelda world. I already knew that. One of the things you have to do in Breath of the Wild is recover the mask, the thunder mask, that the, um, I can't remember the name of their tribe, but the, uh, the, the, the women, who only have men born once in an every, once in a blue moon. This looks like another temple. Keyhole here, it says slime keyhole. Looks like I'm heading southeast, just naturally through this level design. Oh. We all know that one person who's obsessed with frogs. Salutations. You wouldn't know by the look of me, but I used to live in the castle. My servants went berserk and I was forced to flee to my... Uh, so you want the key to Yukuku Prairie, do you? I may be able to help you. Let's make a deal, shall we? I want you to retrieve the golden leaf I left behind in the castle when I fled. Okay or nowhere? Okay. I am impressed. There are five leaves in all. Remember to buy a shovel on your way back. Well, good thing I already did that. This is a nice chest. A shovel, huh? So what can I use the shovel for? Let's find out. Oh, I can just dig. And dig up stuff. I can't help but dig every tile. It's just the kind of game I am. kind of messes with the look of the water edge as well, doesn't it? Domin Hernandez is here, how's it going? Unfortunately, you're joining me towards the end of the stream. It's still nice to see you here. And he says, it's been so long since I've heard the song from Link's Awakening. 
haven't seen the game. This just brings me so many memories. I'm happy I can send you on this nostalgia trip. I'm creating those happy memories right now because this is my first ever playthrough of the game. If you can believe. Wow. So you can cut the grass and then dig up underneath. This is just brilliant. Oh. That's what I want. <sighs> oh! Can I not scroll with the screen? Wait, can I jump over this water? <sighs> Look at this. Oh wow, I don't need a key to get here. I, I feel like a big brain boy. But, there's nothing up here, right? I jump down here, yeah, and then end up back here. That, that's not good. All right, five past. Well, four hours and five minutes. I would say now is a good time to to come off now. But like, uh, I really want to find some cool progression thing to end on. GMT says, when in doubt, dig. Hmm. Hmm. Let's get back to where I was. Because I got the jump right now. Jump. Alright, let's get out the old shovel. What, what is that? Is it just telling me there's a door here? I'll have the heart. says that that plateau was suspicious. That plateau? That there looks suspicious. What's this? You found a secret seashell. If you collect a lot of these, something good is bound to happen. endeavor to, oh god, dig up every single tile here. I wonder if I can make it across here. No, you have to walk on the edge of the screen if you want it to scroll. Jumping doesn't count. and save here.
What did this guy say? Retrieve the golden leaf I left behind in the castle. Okay. <laughs> uh, you save this game by pressing A, B, and select and start, right? Alright, save and quit. My first 2D Zelda is a lot of fun. But man, <laughs> man, do I need some. Do I need a tip? A push in the right direction every now and then? I'm sure that if I complete Link's Awakening and then go on to another 2D Zelda, I might have a, I might have a, I might have a better time, like reading the clues and stuff. But who knows? Let's go over to the end screen. I am boiling. Let me tell you. Ugh. So uh, before I go, let me just thank everybody who showed up for tonight. Uh, on the YouTube side of things, that includes JMT the Pixelmon. Thank you very much. 50% Yogurt just showed up. Asking how is the stream going? The stream has come to an end, but it went very well. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Domin Hernandez, who was here. Tiberius was here. Ordo, yeah, was here on YouTube. Mako was here. Thank you for speedrunning and uh, playtesting Ashura today. Your name is going to go in the credits. Of the Sage 24 build. Sonic Channel and Power Guy was here. And over on Twitch. Thank you Vector Seda. I'll see you later, probably tomorrow night. And Queen Matty was here too. If you're watching this later. Yeah, I was going to say the whole stuff now. I'm not going to bother. <sighs> right, see you later. Take care. Goodbye.